What's up YouTube? My name is Jamie. So this is the first ever video I am making. So forgive me if it looks like <laughs> So in this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I decided to start YouTube. And yeah, let's get right to it. Before I get into why I decided to start YouTube, maybe I'd start with it would be nice to give you guys a little bit more context on who I am. Who am I? What do I do? Hmm, sounds like a job interview. Born and bred in Singapore, I'm Singaporean. Uh, I studied in Singapore and from primary school to secondary school, Nanyang Primary, St. Margaret Secondary School. And then I left to Western Australia, Perth. I studied there for a good seven years. I studied law there. And then um, I came back after which I started my first job at this place called Fragment. Uh, they do like immigration law kind of stuff and then I moved to Google Singapore which I am currently at and have been there for about four-ish years I guess so I'm the only kid I live with mum and dad still it's still it's a pretty normal thing in Singapore if you're not yet married and uh, yeah I have two dogs I have a chihuahua um, called Bruce and I have a German Shepherd called Porsche and you should see them get along it's hilarious okay enough about all the personal details so now I just wanted to get to the point of um, you know why I wanted to get into YouTube in the first place okay I think I'm hungry it's, it's about 1 30 and I haven't had breakfast or I usually just have a coffee but I have not even had my coffee yet so um, maybe let's just head down to my favorite place I'll bring you guys along with me so now I'm Headed to my favorite coffee bar, um, Afogado Bar. It's just a 10 15 minute walk from my place. So, as my trainer says, uh, I need to hit 10,000 steps a day. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, but anyway, I also wanted to talk a little bit more on why I decided to get into YouTube, right? Like some of the reasons why. I guess the first thing is just to kind of document what's going on in my life. Um, maybe it's like quite a life crisis or something, but <laughs> I just kind of want to know like what I've been doing with my life. I mean, I kind of think back, right? Like two weeks ago, what was I doing on like a Thursday? I don't remember. So I think it's just a really good way to kind of document what's going on in our lives now. Everyone's so busy. Um, so yeah, I think that's, I guess, one of the first reasons why. I think secondly, it's kind of to learn a little bit more about what I find fulfilling personally. Um, work is great, I think, you know, I've got lots of support from family and friends and things like that, but like what do I really do in my life that really fulfills me and makes me happy? Um, so I've been reading like the 4 hour work week by Tim Ferriss, but he also did like the 4 hour body. Thing. I'm also into fitness, um, so it's been quite interesting. Um, I've, I I remember I read it like a few. I read it to like page eighty something, and I just threw it away. Not threw it away, but I stopped reading, and then I decided to kind of reread again. And yeah, so far it's just been, you know, it's. I think I just could resonate a lot with it because maybe again, quite a life crisis. Um, third reason is to kind of, I guess, just share my thoughts on many different things, right? Um, how, you know, things are going in Singapore, or even just thoughts on different things that I like, like, I like tech, um, I love fitness, I love stuff on productivity, and just like, you know, when I don't know something, I just kind of go on YouTube and there are all these kind of people who just create content, and I learn so much from them. like. I mean, googling it, yeah, but you know, learning so much more from that, like a video, um, that helps me so much and I just kind of want to do that as well for people.
I spent about three hours in the avocado bar, had my coffee, had my bagel, so really really satisfied. <laughs> and basically I was just spending time with my iPad, reading a lot more now. So recently I I think for about seven days I actually deleted Instagram and Facebook from my phone and my iPad and I do realize it's given me much more time to focus on a lot of different things that I basically want to focus on. Um, I swear peeing has never been so productive or pooping or whatever but um, yeah basically every time I sit somewhere I, I whip out my Kindle and I kind of play right whether it's on my phone, my iPad or my actual Kindle itself and yeah I just realized I feel so much more productive. I did not realize how much I actually miss reading. Um, I used to read a lot as a kid, but obviously nowadays it's just like always much more on the the whole like social media thing. So I did not realize social media detox was actually what I kind of needed and wanted as well. And I haven't actually had, or I haven't actually wanted to re-download Instagram at this moment. I probably will um, because I'm going to to care for my solo trip and I do want to capture that experience but I think it's not necessarily something we really need every day and I don't realize I didn't realize how much time I was actually spending on on, on Instagram once you know once I started doing this and I'm like wow I, I just didn't realize it so that's one pretty cool re realization that came out of that so I guess embarking on this whole new YouTube thing has forced me to um, think through more things um, as I'm reading a lot of books there are more books that I pick up just to learn more about learning about um, like lifestyle and just way of thinking, a lot of things on productivity and mindfulness which I think innately I've always been quite interested in productivity tips and tricks and um, very interestingly learning about YouTube there's, I didn't realise but there's so many things to learn okay, wait I just don't want to get hit by a car okay um, yeah there are so many things to, to learn right and you just don't really realise that um, like for example, I have to learn about cameras, um, angles, uh, like what is white balance, what's aperture, like honestly if I have a camera, I just basically go on auto and, and record. So a lot of things to learn about which I learned about yesterday. Um, so that's pretty cool, right? And things about like creating content, how do you tell a story. I never thought of those kind of things and like it's just really really interesting. So. See how it goes. You guys will uh, get to see all that. My supposedly creative side of me. Oops, I have no idea what that was. So I guess the last thing to cover before I kind of want to end this video, the last point is just more on... I mean, I talked about sharing, I talked about documenting my life, but I do realize the more I share and learn, um, you know, someone out there could really just benefit from this and maybe not feel so alone. Um, yeah, I realize a lot of the times I do feel, I could feel quite alone. So, I don't know, maybe this video will benefit someone who's like feeling like I don't know, so. Maybe it's repetitive of my second point, but oh, whatever. You guys get my point. So guys, that pretty much concludes my first video so hope you enjoy it like subscribe whatever um yeah if you want to know what's going on and i don't know follow me on my journey or what i'm trying to do so thanks for watching bye till the next time